Since I left Colorado in the summer of 2020, I've been looking for an excuse to go back. So, when my brother sent me a text saying he had accepted a job out in Colorado and needed help moving, I jumped at the opportunity to go out west. We knew we were going to have to work some and that we wouldn't be able to fish all day every day, but what we didn't expect was for the fishing to be so good when we did make it out. And thus, a new series was born. Welcome to the new Colorado series. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures. So, I'm in Colorado, and look who I found here. Wow. Yeah, that was dumb. We're just doing it. <laughs> Edit. Uh, <laughs> Cut. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures. Today, I'm in Colorado. I made a trip out west, and I found Andrew out here. And basically, for our initiation into coming into Colorado, um, it is 26 degrees, and the wind is blowing snow sideways. Um, I mean, it's just absolutely brutal out here. So we're not gonna fish this. We came here with the intention of fishing this particular area, and it's just not gonna happen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna backtrack and find some, hopefully some nicer weather, and hopefully get on a few fish for you guys. What you're about to watch is probably the best hour and a half of brown trout fishing I've ever had. After struggling the entire day and hitting multiple areas, we finally found one stretch of bank that was loaded with big browns. Unfortunately, the 40 mile per hour winds make the audio rough, but the trout don't bite based on when the best time to make a video is. Big one. Yes. Get your get the net. Get the net. It's confused. Come on, come on. Where are you at? Oh shit. Get now. Get now. Get it now. I'm trying to tell you. I said get it now. I don't know what you're doing. I didn't fish is flying in circles. I said net it. Don't run backwards. Where are you going? Why would I bring it back? I can't bring it back. It's it's just going like this on the bank, Andrew. I'm not gonna pull it across the top of the water. When it's flopping like that, you swoop in the net immediately. Huge brown, huge brown. Big and huge, huge. That one's even bigger. I'm stuck on my cell. Yep, yep, yep. This one knows he's hooked. This one's really cool. I'll stand out here. Let's go, dude! That's a 
fucking man up too. Back up. <laughs> There's like a hundred big browns in here and they're just eating like it's nobody's business. That was even bigger, dude. Let's go. That's a male too. That's a 21. I want to get a measuring tape on it real quick. Where's the measuring tape at? I think it's bigger than that. Size. It just looks way bigger because it's Wait, heavier. It's a male, so it has a big broader and a little beaker, beakier. So it's, like it's like 2021, 20, yeah. But still, it would just looks more impressive because it has the nice beak. All right, guys. So for whatever reason, we've come to this hole, and Andrew just caught a 20, and then 20, 20 and a half. This one's about the same size, but it's a male, so I thought it looked a little bigger than it was. And just before this, I literally lost like what an 18 to 20 probably yeah, that's probably 18 or 18 and i was really ticked off because andrew didn't net it when the fish was rolling around the bank but then he made up for it with this one so it doesn't matter uh i don't know why all these big browns are, are stacked in here but <laughs> i'm not going to question it i'm going to hold up this fish real quick so that you guys can get a look at them maybe i don't know why yeah, you can't hold these fish <laughs> Another big one. I don't have the net. Where's the net at? Where's the net at? This here. You think you can net it? Let's go, boy. <laughs> That's a yellow one, though. Well, the one I just had hit was not this fish, it was bigger. <laughs> so let's put it that way. This one's yellow. All right, guys, Andrew just caught one here. I just caught this fish. I moved one prior to this. I think it was not this fish, so there might be more in here. But this is a very pretty one. I wonder if this is the one that I just lost because it was That's yellow. That's good colors on it. Look at that. What a fish, Beautiful man. Beautiful colors on that guy. That's an incredible fish. Huge, huge. Lost there. That might have been the first one I lost, honestly. I think that's that might be a 22. Yeah, that's another coin. Woo! In the middle of a windstorm, baby! <laughs> I can't even believe this is happening. That one I didn't even work. I just cast up there really high and then I let it sink and I set pulled up and it was heavy, so I set. I thought I was stuck at first. Alright guys, so I don't know how well you guys can hear me. Because it's the wind. Like every time you 
you guys in there. Jig, 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 Tony gets around, comes out. Um, this is the third one that's like 20 or bigger. We're not gonna tape measure this one. It's probably like 21 ish, I'd say. And and then we'll release them and we'll see if Andrew can't get on the floor with another 20 because apparently they're just there's just a billion of them in here for some reason. So look at that boy. Oh yeah, oh, yeah look at him. A nice, beautiful male Colorado male. Just, I can't, this is just brutal, man. I think most of the fish were basically right here, like in this signal section. Yeah. Oh, this thing's way undercut in here. Like, I mean, it's undercut to where I'm standing. Big one. Oh, big one. I saw him come out and eat it. Just get, just, just come in, come in. I can, I can stop that. Hold on, hold on. Next time. Ready? That's a pretty one, man. He came right out of this stick pile up here. I was just working it. I was like, is there something following that? And I jigged it twice and it came up and just, I saw some mouth open. I set into it. Oh. That's sweet. Uh, yeah, I did that same thing. I, I, I jigged it towards the, the thing and then just came on the air. So it's that. Was it over here? This one? Right there. Makes sense, I guess. I'm, I'm just about that cast and I just jigged it towards this thing and I just kind of was jigging it along. Just, you know, I know. just did that and I was like right in there and it just came out. Right there. Oh, oh big huge! Oh, you might still eat it. Break, don't break. I'm losing dexterity, I'm losing dexterity. <laughs> Does he want underneath this? Dude, they're so stacked in here, it's insane. <laughs> I don't know if that's even the fish that came out the first time. Dude, that thing came out swart that I just set the hook and just pulled as hard as I could. I was like, if I don't pull him out of there immediately. Is it? That was a big one, wasn't it? I mean, yeah, 20 again. That stuck on me, on my back. Yeah, that'll do her. That was that other one, yeah. I thought you had him. No way.
day, dude. Watch it. Pull it down right here. I got the net. Is that the same fish that you just hooked? I think it is. I can't. That's a 20. Should we measure that one just for the fun of it? Nineteen. Probably add another a little bit. Nineteen. Probably. Nineteen. Okay, so it's almost a twenty. All right, guys. Well, I can't really get in the water here because it's like five feet deep. But I'll just kind of quickly. Oh shoot! I, like, I, don't, I literally don't think you can sit down. You might slide in. Yeah, I really am about to go in. So, <laughs> gonna quickly hold this fish up, and then we're gonna get him back in the water. A beautiful, about like nineteen inch uh, male brown trout here. Yep. What? <laughs> I hate when they hold on. To What a pretty fish, man. What a pretty fish. That's so awesome. Oh yeah. Beautiful male brown. Look at him. Sweet. I wanna get this guy released and maybe now I try to get it here. What is this fish, like 10 or more? I don't know. Around 20 inches? Just in case they're actually different fish. Come on, dude. Yeah, just in case they're actually different fish the whole time. You recording? Yeah. It's so cool to just see them because they just kind of materialize. I think that's the funnest part is just how fast how fast they like come out of nowhere. Let me see if I can hit that. Big one. Giant. Huge, 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 Andrew. Holy crap. Yeah. I don't like that. I don't like that. He's he's tangled on himself. Let's go, dude! There's a bigger one. Woo! That's Dude, I saw him slowly come out and eat that, and I set the hook knowing how big that fish was. Let's go! <laughs> dude, every undercut, dude, every undercut. That's 24. It's just longer. Oh yeah, that's a big one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just caught the biggest fish of the day, 22 and a half inches. It's a rough measurement, but it's in that range. It's a really big brown trout, the biggest brown trout I've caught since like probably the, before the spawn in the fall. It's not the prettiest fish on earth, but um, it's like the, I don't know, like every single place on this undercut, I literally just said this, and I know I sound like a broken record, but every single spot in this undercut, just giant browns just come out and eat the streamer every time. <laughs> Like, Andrew and I were both sitting there like, dude, there's going to be one underneath this undercut in this little back pocket. Threw it in there. Fish comes in. So, I'm going to hold this fish up real quick for everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I can't hold it. Why is it so... There we go. Look at that bad boy. Hold it this way a little bit. Got it? God, the lens is really poor because the sun is like... You ever have one of those days on the water where it feels like you can do no wrong? Well, that's pretty much how this day went from here on out. We continued fishing and caught several more 20s, but the audio is just too bad for me to continue adding them to the video. Either way, this is one of my favorite videos on the channel for a couple reasons. One is because we didn't have a ton of time to fish, we were forced to fish in some less than ideal conditions, but since we stuck it out, we were rewarded big time. Two is that it shows the highs and lows of trout fishing, from being shut out by a blizzard to losing a big brown and then finally being rewarded with several large fish. Not to mention the joy and funny moments that comes along with fishing with one of your best fishing buddies. In the next video, Andrew and I take on a small creek with a pretty big surprise. He's coming back. Oh, he came back for it. Why did he not? Got it.